Hey everyone, uh, today we have with us the Sony Xperia Z. Uh, this is the latest flagship from Sony and uh, amongst all the amazing features this phone has including a really fast processor, great screen, the one thing that really stands out about this phone is its certification for water and dust resistance. It's IP55 and 57 rated which means a bunch of things like it doesn't let dust get inside the body, um, you can submerge it underwater for a specified amount of time etc etc. So the Xperia Z gets its water and dust resistance thanks to these little rubber gaskets inside all the covers for the ports. You know, they make sure that the water and the dust doesn't seep inside, uh, which is something that you won't generally find in a regular phone. So we'll leave all the talk out of this and we'll just see how the Xperia Z does, you know, when it goes into water. Maybe you're just like, oh, accidentally, you know, you drop it in there. It's gone. It's inside. Now what? And... Um, all the ports are sealed, the phone submerged underwater. Let's see, does it work? It turns on, we turn it on, let's pull it out. And there you go. So the phone is right here. Screen swipes up. All the water just runs off the screen in almost instantly, which is pretty amazing. So as you can see, you can swipe. You can do whatever you want. Okay. So, you know, in case you're like hyper OCD and you feel that your phone's gotten dirty because it fell underwater and you feel the need to clean it with water, all you gotta do is this. There we go. Give it a nice shower there. You know, don't use soap. Or use soap. That's up to you. So, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play a movie on this. Gone in 60 seconds, that's my favorite movie. And turn up the volume all the way. And inside. Oh, so the playback is absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's pretty good. The water once again just runs off the screen. It's submerged all the way underwater. Interestingly, while your phone's underwater, the screen will not respond to touch which is understandable we believe it's a fair trade-off to you know not have your phone get destroyed when it's underwater it probably has something to do with the coating anyway so let's pull this out now but the minute we pull it out it starts to work inside water nope nothing outside So the next thing we're going to test for is whether the phone can receive phone calls underwater. Uh, this is to see whether Sony has put any measures in place to turn the radios off while the phone submerged or you know if there's any interference from the water. So let's see what happens when the phone goes underwater. So there we go. It's all the way in. Yep, that's definitely a phone call. But interestingly, if you receive a phone call underwater, you can't answer it because the screen doesn't work. So you have to, you know, interrupt your swimming session. And call rejected. That works. That works too. So as I try to insert the phone underwater, uh, the home back buttons start reacting. It's probably to the ripples in, present inside the water. They're creating some sort of pressure. So you can see the screen sort of starts going crazy and the phone's vibrating, so you can't feel that. But you see that? Oh, yeah. So, anyway. So, 
the height, uh, the water resistance and the dust resistance on the Xperia Z don't make it a tough phone. This is the you're not supposed to swim with this phone in your pocket. You're not supposed to go scuba diving. This is not an underwater camera or an underwater phone. Um, don't think of burying it under the Sahara des desert sand. What this device essentially is, is that it has a coating that will make sure if you accidentally drop it in water, you won't lose all your 38,000 bucks worth. If you accidentally, you know, trip and it falls into a mud, dust, whatever, nothing's going to happen. But yeah, you're not supposed to. Don't think this is one of those devices that will completely withstand any kind of abuse. It's not. It's in fact a glass body, so be gentle with it. And... Uh, if it does take a tumble into any liquids, you wipe it off almost immediately. That's just the same thing to do with electronics. So yeah, there's that. On the Xperia Z, works fine.